Okay, so you're here because you want to make artwork that looks like this or this. And I know everyone wants to make artwork like this because it looks so cool and people buy it for a lot of Robux. So in this video, I'm just going to show you exactly how to do that. Um, so as you can see, this here is a minty kilo, which is what I called it. And I made this using this method from this video. Um, and you can make it yourself if you want to, if you get the same image. Um, so what you're going to do is going to go to Google and search up any image you want. Um, I searched up Hisoka because it's a character from an anime that I really enjoy. Um, so I thought that looked really, really cool. Um, this is a voiceover I'm doing right now, so if I mess anything up, just keep going, it'll be cool, you know. Uh, so just look for an image that you think will look good in 32 by 32 pixels, which is how much the game offers. Um, then we're going to go to a new tab and search up Photopea, or Photopea, uh, I'm not sure how you pronounce that one. Um, probably go ask your parents how to pronounce that one, I'm not quite sure. Um, but, yes, yeah, so we're going to wait for that one to load, and then we're going to go click new project. And then go down to the Instagram one, which is a square, essentially, and that's also what the game offers for us to paint in. So we're going to get that blank square there, and then we're going to go to our files, which is where we save that image, and just drag it straight onto that blank canvas. Um, and see, we got it there now, and what we're going to do is we're going to grab the corner and drag it down to the bottom so it fills up the whole square, essentially. Um, so make sure you're holding down shift when you do this, otherwise if you don't hold down shift, it's going to go goopy and woo. Um, so we're going to drag that down to the bottom, and then we're going to grab the top left one and drag it up to the top. Um, and now you can just center it to make it look however pretty you want it to look. I just wanted to get all the details in there so that a buyer can look at that and go, wow, that looks really pretty, um, and buy it maybe. So now we're going to go up to image, go to image size, and set it to 32 by 32 pixels, which is so we can have the same in both Photopea and in Starving Artists. We know like how many squares we can work with. Um, so now it's going to go really tiny, and we're just going to zoom all the way in to, so we can see all the individual pixels. Um, so basically, uh, we're going to go grab the ruler from the top um, and drag that down five um, and place it on those pixels there. So we're just going to put it every five just so we don't lose track of where we are when we're doing it in Starving Artists. So we're going to put this grid on the canvas in Starving Artists as well, as I'll show you later in the video. Um, yeah, so just make sure you're placing it every five and placing it over the pixels. Um, and then we're going to do it across ways as well. Um, I mean vertically as well. That's what I meant to say. Um, so this is basically so we have like a small amount of pixels in between, as you'll see. Um, so like we have a small amount of like a box of pixels, basically like a group of them. And then we can work on those. And then once we finish those, we can move on to the next group of them. And then so we're not just like leaving an uneven amount done. If we want to go like eat a sandwich, go to Nando's or something, we can come back and finish it another time. And we know how much we have left and we can see where we're up to. So basically these lines are just to keep track of where we're up to. Uh, just so we, you know, don't goof up and then everything's ruined because that would suck. So yeah, now we're in the game and we're going to go over to the chair, which is where we paint the stuff. And as you can see, I had a Luffy... Uh, painting here, but that doesn't matter. I'm just gonna go delete that because I want to get this tutorial out soon um, So yeah, we're just gonna delete that uh, just ignore just pretend that never happened um, And we're gonna go get the black color or black was a color that wasn't used in the Hisoka image very much So I'm gonna use that to make the grid on here um, if black is used in the image that you are Painting then just find a color that isn't used much just so it doesn't like blend in and we forget to fill in this grid after so go five in like on Photopea and just draw a line down and just keep doing that every five across exactly how we did it in Photopea. If you do any like if you goof up a little bit um, and you do like a little bump on the side, uh, don't stress. It's fine. We can just go fill that in with white later. Um, if you're perfect, if you're like a wizard or something like that, if you're like an amazing drawer and you do it first try, well, well done. But uh, most people won't be able to. So just uh, don't bother doing it perfect. Now we're going to go from the side and do it left to right as well, or right to left, um, and just fill that that grid in exactly like we did on photo pier. And then we're going to go get white and fill in the little black little little marks that we messed up a little bit on. Um, so now it's perfect. Look at that! Wow. Now we're going to go back to photo pier, and what we're going to do is get the color picker tool. As you can see, I have it out just here, um, and we're going to do that by clicking the two little boxes on the left side of the screen. Um, they should be white for you if it's defaulted. Um, so we're going to click that. And using this, we can um, actually just find the hex code of the uh, color. Um, so as you can see on the right, um, I actually did a whole square. Um, and it wasn't recording, which sucks a lot. Um, but I'm just going to show you the next square, basically, and show you how it works. 
Okay, so I'm going to do the square to the right of it. We're just going to click on that, like, little white square there, which is on the top left, which is where we're going to start. And we're going to get that hex code just there on the color picker. Now, we're going to highlight that, copy it, and go into Starving Artist. Click the color thing and paste it into the color key, the color hex code. And then we're going to get the white color. Um, and we're going to put that in there. And that wasn't really a good example because uh, you can't actually see the white color very much unless you, like, squint your eyes. So I'll just show you a, a better example um, a, with like a, a better color is what I'm trying to say. So we're going to grab that red color and we're going to put it in there. As you can see, I got the red color and I'm just going to smack it in there. As you can see, we got that exact red color that I copied from photo up here. So it does work. It's not a scam. Um, and basically, I'm just going to fill in that next square to the right of it and just show you guys, show you guys me doing that. Okay, yeah, so I'm just getting the one next to it, basically like that. It's quite simple once you get the hang of it your your hand on the mouse just gets used to the movement of going back and forth copy and pasting control c control v which is copy and paste um those are going to help you a lot especially in the game because you can't actually right click and paste so you're going to need to use control c to copy and control v to paste um pretty simple i'm just going to keep doing that um until we filled in that square as you can see, this method like really allows you to put in a lot of detail into the work. Um, and people do say like, oh, are you printing? And if you say yes, they get mad because they're like, oh, you're cheating that. You're cheating in this game. You can't do that. Well, it takes a lot of time to do this. So it's not really cheating. Um, it's just look at it as you're putting a lot of passion into your work. You put in a lot of you know, creativity. Now, I'm obviously not going to show you guys me doing this whole thing because that would be like a whole live stream, like a whole like two hour video of just me doing this. It depends how, how much detail is in the picture. Uh, that will depend on how long it takes for you to do it. If you're doing like a, a PNG image on top of like a solid color background, it would take like a lot less than what I'm doing right now because most of it are all different colors. If you have like a PNG on a solid background, a solid color background, then you can fill in that solid color background with the same hex code and that won't take you long at all and then you just fill in the little details of the actual PNG image in the middle uh, but this is like a full image which is what I'm showing you guys how to do today um, so you kinda need to dedicate a little bit of time into doing that you can do it in two sessions as well um, so you can leave the game and then come back and do it a, a little bit later um, but yeah I'll show you later in the video how to actually save it so you don't just leave the game and you come back and it's all gone no that would suck a lot um so we're not gonna do that I'll show you guys how to prevent that from happening and as you can see I finished the square look at that Woo yeah so I'm gonna take this time right now to just ask you guys very politely to subscribe to my channel as you can see um, from the time of uploading this I have two subscribers this is my very first video so if you found this very helpful and you're gonna become like a Leonardo da Vinci of the Roblox world, then make sure to subscribe and like. I would really, 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 really appreciate it. Okay, as you can see, guys, I've finished the top layer. Uh, just recording now. I mean, I stopped the recording and I'm recording again because I know you guys don't want to see me fill in every single individual square. But I'm just going to show you guys what to do with the black grid because obviously we don't want the black grid there when it's finished because uh, that'll look pretty stupid. Um, so what I'm going to do is actually just go fill in the grid. Um, so you can do this at different ways. You can do each individual square and get all the way to the end with the whole grid on it and then fill in the grid at, at the very end. But then I seem I do this, which is you fill in the grid as you complete each square around it, um, which kind of like you get to see more of the image as you go, which kind of motivates me to want to keep going because I can see a little bit of what the final product's going to look like. Um, with the grid over it, it still looks like you can see what it's going to look like, but it's just harder to envision it. So what I do is I just do exactly what I'm doing right now. You just get the hex code for each of the the squares with the lines over them in Photopea. And it, um, if you're wondering how I'm doing this right now without Photopea on my screen, I have a second monitor to the, the left of me, um, which I have Photopea open on. And I'm just going in between and pasting it from there. But as you saw before, uh, you can just do it on one monitor. It's really simple. Um, I'm just doing that just because it's a tad easier. Um, but as you can see, yeah, so the purple colors, I can just use the same hex code. Um, if you want to do a lot of detail, then use the like, exact hex code. But if you want to save a little bit of time, if it's like the same kind of color, you can just use the same hex code. It doesn't really matter that much. And if you can see the Nezuko picture in the background and the Demon King uh, from Demon Slayer on the right, um, I didn't paint those, I bought them from people to resell, um, but you can see that they probably use the same method or a similar method, 
um, because you can see the amount of detail that's in those two, and that's why I like to buy images I can see people put a lot of time into. Although, there are videos on YouTube of, like, how to hack the game, which is, I find really stupid, um, because I'd rather put time into something which would make me like it more than just downloading a hack and just really just literally pasting the image onto there, which I think is pretty stupid. Um, but yeah, I like this way a lot better. It's also really soothing and calming. Like I can just put some Spotify on and just, you know, chill and relax while I'm just filling in these little squares. Ah, oh, doesn't that look beautiful? Beautiful. Okay, what are we going to get from the unlock frame? We got 130 coins. Let's spin it and put it on our Kilowa because that's the only finished one we have. Um, and we got Stone Age frame. Ooh. Okay, like I said before, this is how you can leave the game with it, with like, without losing your work. So without, if you're just in here and you've, you're painting and you do, oh, that's really good. What you need to do is you need to jump out of the chair and then leave the game. Um, if you stay in the chair and then leave, like I've done like a million times, uh, you come back and it'll save from the last time you jumped out the chair. Now this can be completely untrue, but this is just from my experience of losing my artwork. Um, but as you can see here, this is what we've done so far. Um, this is the last little grid that we're going to fill in. Um, and basically, look how good it looks. Like you got even like the light on like underneath his eye, the light shining on him. I think that looks really, really, really good. Um, but yeah, so we're just going to fill in the rest of that bottom grid there. Um, what I did is I got halfway down and then I filled in the grid that was covering what I'd filled in. And then I did the other half and then I filled in the rest of the grid. So I did filled in the grid in two loads, which kind of gave me like a good insight of what it would look like at the end without the grid covering it for half of the image. And then that gave me more inspiration to go and finish the other half. Um, so I did do this in two sessions over two days. I did about like an hour yesterday and then an hour today. So unless you're like a real machine, like a champion, little, little man, like a little superhero guy. And you want to do it all in one go then go on good for you you you're a champion uh but i did it in two goes just because um i didn't want to melt in my chair plus about two hours of his soka staring into your soul is a bit a bit yeah i don't know how i feel about that um considering how he looks at gone i i don't really want to be in his you know his eyesight really okay we're on the last four squares of the hisoka artwork now we're on three, we're about to be on two, um, but as you can see we've finished all of it and it looks very very cool. Um, so I really uh, recommend this method, it's pretty simple, pretty straightforward, just a little bit time consuming. Um, and as you can see there's loads of people like walking around my artwork, um, which is really cool as well. Um, and yeah, so we're finished, look at that. Um, so now we can obviously go next and um, that'll save the artwork. Also if you haven't finished don't click next because you can't go back and edit it. Which I did once, and it was really not great. Um, but yeah, so only click next when you've finished the artwork. Yep, so now we're going to click next, and hmm, I wonder what we should name it. Something really, really creative that will really catch the eye. Yeah, Hisoka. Let's name it Hisoka. Yeah, okay, um, nice. Let's click finish. Yeah. Okay, let's go hang it up. Okay, so E, and we're going to go select the Hisoka, and we're just going to set it at 100 or 50, 100, 100 just for now, so no one buys it, um, and we can look at it for a little while, but later we'll set it to 50, and we will see who buys it. I just clicked record on this one because this guy really liked it. Um, he liked my Kilua and my Hisoka artwork because he's a big fan of Hunter Hunter, as you can see. Um, and he, I don't, I don't know if he wanted to buy it or not, but he definitely left a like on them both. I just wanted to give a shout out to this guy. He was very friendly um, and he liked the artwork a lot. Okay, so we have 100 coins now. We're just going to go to the unlock frame machine and just see what we can get on the Hisoka artwork. See if we can get something really cool. Oh, the vine frame. Uh, I guess that might match Hisoka a little bit because he's kind of like, actually no it doesn't. But well, let's let's just let's just put it on anyway. Uh, it doesn't look too bad, but I think other frames would definitely look better. I don't know which frames would look better, uh, but the flower one doesn't look too bad. All right, guys, this is the end of the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really, really, really appreciate it. And like I said before, make sure to like and subscribe. That is also something that I really, really would appreciate if you did. 
So, um, yeah, thank you for watching. Make sure to leave a comment if you enjoyed, and see you guys in another video.